Hey there, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on my eBay this week. So this has become like quite a regular thing here on my channel and I really love doing it. I love showing you what stuff I'm selling on eBay. Uh, so some of the stuff that I sell is my own stuff. I've been going through like wardrobes and drawers and cupboards, just getting rid of stuff. So I either don't wear it anymore, I don't like it anymore, you know, it doesn't fit me, that kind of thing. Um, and some of the stuff I've been going to local charity shops, uh, buying them cheap, and then selling the stuff on. Uh, so also what I'll do in this video, apart from showing you what's uh, for sale this week on my eBay, um, I'll also be saying what happened to last week's stuff that I put on as well, okay? So I've got my phone here, and I'm gonna be going through uh, what I had on for sale last week and how it went. Okay, right, so let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go through this as quick as possible because there is quite a lot of things. By the way, if any of you wanna buy, any of the stuff you see on here, like feel free. It'd be great if you did. Uh, <laughs> I'll put the link down below to my eBay um, and you get the exact link and you can just go there, see the items I'm selling and stuff and yeah, place your bids. Okay, cool. Okay, right, so first of all, uh, this now this used to be mine. I think I've wore it like once, but I, it's not for me anymore. Um, so I went through this stage of getting lots of like floral kind of see-through, like sheer kind of material. This is like a nice blouse. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just, it's just not me anymore. Like, I don't know. So originally it was from Peacocks. It's a size 20. Um, it's a bit longer at the back as well, which I wasn't that keen on. I don't really like things that are really long at the back. I know why they do that. It's kind of like cover the bum but I just I think because I'm so short it looks weird on me when something's so long and so short here I don't know anyway it's just not for me anymore basically um but yeah so this is on sale okay also this was mine I've wore this a few times but I just got bored of the color I went for a stage of just buying loads of orange loads of orange stuff um so this is a cardigan originally from George oh and yeah it's just it needs an iron oopsie but yeah it's just like an orange cardigan i think this was a 20 as well if i remember but it it was a 20 but it could i think more be an 18 it says 20 but it, it fit more like an 18 it wasn't like really baggy or anything so that's that one uh, ah now this one i've had like mixed decisions about this one whether to sell it or not um you've probably seen me wearing this can you see that it's not very good lighting in here. It's really sparkly. There you go. You can see a bit better now. Um, but yeah, I, I've wore this a few times in videos and live streams. Originally, it's from Primark. It is a size XL, 1820. Um, and I love I love the colouring. Like, it's so sparkly. And like, woo. Um, but what I don't like about it, it's just a bit short. And so when I wear it, it just kind of like buckles up. Like, it goes a bit like a crop top. It's not a crop top but it kind of just rises a little bit. I can't explain it. Anyway, I just don't like the way it, it like fits. And also it's quite rough on my skin, like this kind of thing. But honestly, it's so pretty. And part of me is like, mm. but it's just, yeah. So I'm getting rid of that one. Okay. <laughs> this dress, I don't even think I've worn. Um, I got it in a charity shop myself ages ago. Um, this is originally, well, I got it from the charity shop, but originally it was from Peacocks. I got it, I don't even think I've wore it, um, but yeah, it's, it was quite smart. That's why I got it, because I thought it was quite smart, but it's, yeah, it's a size 20, but it's one of those, like, you know, like, fitted kind of, is it bodycon dresses? I don't know, but it is really smart, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, and it's also a bit long on me. I think it looks a bit silly, because I'm so kind of short. Anyway, so that's on there. I mean, if for the workplace or something, very, very smart. See, I'm trying to pimp out the stuff, right? Uh, now, my Harry Potter jumper. <sighs> I know. Now, I love this jumper, and I still look at it now and love looking at it, but I don't like the way it makes my hair really static. Whenever I've worn it, I've worn it like two or three times, or maybe a few more, actually. I don't know. Anyway, every time I've worn it, it just makes my hair... Actually, I better not put my hair near it. It's going to do the same thing. It makes it really static because it's that kind of like fluffy material. I mean, it's so nice. It's so cool. Um, and you, you all know that I love Harry Potter, right? But it's just, it's too, just my, honestly, I put it on and my hair is like, Ooh. I don't know if that's just me 
or the actual material. I don't know. Because I saw a girl wearing this the other day in the post office and her hair was like, ooh, sticking up. So I don't know, maybe it's me. But yeah, this is on sale. It is a size... I don't think this was an 18. I think I got the smaller size because I didn't have the 18. Hold on. What's the label? An hour later, I find the label. Where are you, label? Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, so this is a 14, 16, but it is quite stretchy. So if you are an 18 and you do want to buy it, it does fit an 18, okay? Um, it is quite a stretchy material. Okay, I should move my glasses. They shouldn't be over there. No, I'll put them over here. All right, next up, I have this dress. I've worn this a couple of times. It's okay, but it's... Uh, I don't really have anywhere to wear dresses like this, really. Uh, it's just like, it looks black in this light, but it's not. It's, not, it's navy blue, but you can't really see. It's a bit cotton there. Um, yeah, I do like my lacy things, like my lacy tops and stuff, but this is a nice dress. Um, it's a size 16, but it would fit an 18 as well. Um, it's quite generous, quite stretchy, but it looks it looks black, but it's not. It's like a really like dark navy blue uh, lacy. This is originally from Primark, but yeah, I just I just don't really do you know what I mean. I don't go anywhere to wear that kind of stuff. I don't know. Just felt a bit too dressy for me, maybe dressy. It's a dress, and it's too dressy. You know, right. So this shirt, I had a thing of um, wearing big baggy check shirts and stuff uh, for quite a while um, and I used to go out and buy bigger sizes than I, mean, I, I am because I just wanted them to be like proper like loose and stuff um, so this I found a few shirts I've kept a few of my shirts still hanging up behind me uh, in the wardrobe because I just love them do you know what I mean and some of them are not as baggy so they still look a little bit loose but not like too loose on me um, so this was from yours and it's this nice pink and grey just like kind of checked isn't it yeah pink and gray shirt blouse whatever you want to call it short sleeves um you know it's just it's just a bit i don't know it just looks too loose on me now just look feels too baggy but like, i think sometimes being a curvy girl like i always used to assume you should always wear like baggy stuff to you know hide your lumps and bumps but i think in some ways um not all the time but some ways if i wear something that's really baggy on me i think it actually made me look bigger do you know what i mean so Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm getting rid of it. So that's the pink and grey shirt. Um, what size was that? Did I just say? I can't remember. I don't think I did, did I? I think this was a 22. Possibly. Yeah, 22, 24. That is quite a stretchy shirt. Um, and the other shirt. Now, I love the colour of this. I used to wear this loads. Uh, this was uh, from George. And it was a size 20. I think this was 24, actually. See what I mean? I did used to buy a bigger clothing uh, obviously i lost a lot of weight last year i lost like two stones so at the time this was just a bit loose but now it's like yeah it's proper loose i mean yeah 24 um but it was such where's this sleeve gone it's got little poppers i, I really love the coloring of it though still but i've got quite a similar shirt you see what i mean now i'm like no i'm gonna get rid of it i've got to get rid of it, get rid of it. it's just too baggy on me it looks silly but yeah blue and red it's a nice one, but this has got long, long sleeves. The other one had short sleeves. Okay. Right, so that is that. Um, <laughs> he's pulling everything over. All right, so this stuff, some of it I got from the charity shop. I think that's all my lot done. Well, there might be some of my bits left in here as well. I don't know. We'll see as we go through. Um, but yeah, it's worth going in charity shops. Like, you know, I go on like, um, there's a shop near me that does everything for £2 so like many bargains and it obviously goes to great charities as well um and well, I, I like looking on the, like the pound rails if you go into most charity shops they have either called a pound rail or a sale rail just look on there and there's some great stuff on there you know okay so this is a corset top from calico that i found size 16 um i mean it's not for me because I, I don't dress up like this and i don't even think it'd fit me anyway i've got quite big boobies but it's like a brown, can you see that? It's got all these like little sequins and this like big rosy flowery thing. But it is really nice. And it's this corset. But I've ne I'd never heard of uh, Calico until I looked it up on eBay. And there's quite a few things that are Calico. So hopefully um, I'll get something for this. But it is really pretty. If you like dress up and go out and stuff, it is really nice. But yeah, hopefully... Hopefully that will sell. Um, that's the thing, you know, when you buy things from charity shops to sell on, 
you, you take a chance, right? You could get stuff, it doesn't sell, you're stuck with it. I mean, I always, what I do, I relist things as well. If they don't sell the first time, I've kind of discovered that sometimes you need to like relist, relist a few times and then eventually it might sell. I give it a good few times. If they haven't sold, then I just give them back to charity or I'll give them to a friend or something. Um, okay, so the next one, I definitely wouldn't fit into. Maybe one day, but not right now. This is a size 10 dress from River Island. So I got this for £2 in a charity shop. It's so nice. Like if it was a bigger, like curvy girls dress, I would wear this. I absolutely love it. I was I was thinking, could I stretch into this? But it's not going to happen. Um, but I love the colouring. I love the style. It's just gorgeous. It's so smart. And it is from River Island. So this is on there at the moment. Anyway, but um, I think if this one doesn't sell, which it probably will, it's River Island, you, well, you'd think it'd sell, you never know these days. Um, if it doesn't, my friend would love this because she's a size 10 and this is the sort of like nice style that she would wear, I think, possibly. All right, this one, I used to have this. This isn't mine, by the way. I did get this from a charity shop. I actually got this for 50p on the sale rail. 50p, I kid you not. Uh, can we make profit on this? Hopefully. <laughs> um, it's, so originally it's from Primark. Uh, this is a size 14. And as I say, I had this one many, many, many years ago. So this is quite vintage Primark. And it's just like really kind of hippie boho kind of style. Um, it is purple and like mustard. Can you see that in this light? Um, yeah, purple mustard, kind of hippie flower. I think it'd be cool for like festivals or just... I don't know if that is your style kind of thing generally. I kind of, part of me still like, actually I quite like it, but no, it's to, it's to be sold. Um, so yeah, that's on. Okay. Ah, now these have got, um, so by the way, some of this stuff has already got bids on, which I will update you on in a second. But yeah, everything is on there for seven days. Sounds like the ring, right? Seven days. <laughs> Anyway, um, everything goes on there for seven days because uh, it's free listings that way. And I always uh, start the listings at 99p, so that's a free listing. For a while there, I didn't realise that, um, and I was getting charged more. And I was thinking, why is it like, you know, why am I having to pay this? Like, then I realised it's because you have to start it under a pound, and then you get free listing. And if it goes on for seven days as well, that's free listing. So if you want to buy any of this or bid on it, um, everything's going to be on. I only put it on yesterday, so you'll have the rest of the week to uh, look them up. These have got quite a bit of interest, quite a few views on them. Uh, these are panned pyjamas. Now, I have to be honest, I was tempted to keep these, but I have got so many pyjamas, especially like pyjama bottoms. I've just got nowhere to put them. I, can't, I can barely shut my drawer, do you know what I mean? But they are so super cute. Um, originally, I think, yeah, George, size 16, 18, but they're very stretchy. I, that would definitely be an 18. Um, but yeah, they're so lovely. These have had the most interest, like the most watchers are on this and views and everything. And it mad. You'd think like a River Island, these are from the charity shop, by the way. Um, you'd think like a River Island dress would be getting loads of views, but no, you know, some cheap old <laughs> panda pajama bottoms. They're like, I want them. They are cute though. I have to say, um, right. Trying to get through this quick because I don't want to be on here for like three hours. Right. Um, next one, this is brand new with the tags. Also, if you do stuff like this for, you know, for you, for your eBay and stuff, um, you know, try and look for stuff with the tags on, because then you can list it as new with tags. Like, I'm always honest about stuff. I just say used in good condition. I only put things on whether it's stuff in the charity shop or my own stuff, if it's like decent quality. I'm not going to send anything with rips or holes and stains in them. They've got to look decent. Um, but if you can find stuff with the tags on, it's, you know, it does improve the price sometimes, not all the time. So this is like a little kid's top. Um, I thought I'd give it a go. It's, um, what's it? What's it called? DC... What are they called? DC Heroes or something. I don't know. Oh, DC Superhero Girls. I just think it was really cute. And it had... There you go. It had the uh, the tags on. Age, I think it was 10, was it? Yeah. 10 years. I think that's so cute. Honestly, I would wear that if that was like an adult size. <laughs> you can so see me. That is so my style. But I don't think it's going to fit. Um, but yeah, brand new. Tags on. And this has got a bid on it. Uh, already this I, I thought this would though this is gorgeous I love this if this was done like in a bigger size I would have kept that this is my kind of thing I love it it's like very tribally so originally from top shop top shop oh yeah I used to go to top shop when I was younger with my friend Hannah well ex-friend we don't talk anymore That's sad isn't it but still 
there you go. Um, but yeah, we used to go shopping. We used to go around Topshop, and we'd never really buy much, but we just like walking around like oh, I'm going to Topshop. Anyway, just brought back memories of times of my old friend and me. <laughs> Who hates me now? But anyway. Um, so yeah, but this is a lovely, lovely top. Originally from Topshop. And this has got a bid and watches and stuff. It's so tiny though. Like, I can't even... I don't even think that'd get over one boob, let alone two. <laughs> okay. Uh, now this, I wish... So many stuff like I got here, I wish would have been bigger. Because I probably would have kept it. Um, <coughs> sorry. This is a tartan dress. Um, originally from New Look. Can you see the colour in there? You can't really see it. I've got my camera light on. But it is this kind of like dark green and black and white uh, tartan dress. Originally from New Look. It's lovely. It's so nice. I love it. But obviously it's never going to fit. Ever. Um, so yeah, as I say, when it comes to charity shop, the stuff that I'm spending on, um, either the £2 shop is brilliant, because that's like £2 everything, bargain. Um, the most I'm kind of willing to pay for things, because I'm being really careful with my money, and obviously I want to make profit. I don't want to just like lose money, do you know what I mean? So I tend to like spend three pound maximum i mean if it's something that i really think's quality i might go up to like 350 but um yeah there's no point in spending out a lot of like some of the stuff in charity shops these days are so expensive and they're second hand um and it's like well i'm not going to pay out for something for like seven pound and then probably sell it for like four do you know what i mean like so be careful what you're spending out if you want to make profit okay um Okay, oh, this is lovely. My friend would love this as well. The same friend that would have loved the other dress. So this is um, from New Look as well, size 10. Um, it just looks tiny. Like, oh my God. But it's so cool. This is something I would wear as well if I was little. Um, but yeah, it's like a tie-dye grey and black dress. Uh, it's quite a long dress, actually. But I actually really love this. I think it's lovely. So yeah, originally from New Look. So I was originally going to put the two dresses on together, like the two new look dresses, both same size, you know, but I just thought, no, they might, they might make more, like, profit if I do them, um, like, separate. Anyway, moving on. Oh, this dress. Oh, I like this dress. I'm not going to lie, <laughs> but I did try this one on and it just looked awful on me. It was like, oh, no, 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 no. But it is a beautiful dress, just not on me. As this is originally from Primark, perfect for this summer time. And it's got all these pretty flowers on, look. This has had some interest actually on eBay so far. It's got some watches. Um, some ladies wrote to me and I've got to take some measurements actually, which, yeah, I've got my tape measure over there. So after this, I'll do that. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful dress, originally from Primark. Okay, let's whiz through these right now wow when i saw this i was like oh my god that's gonna be well expensive it's a jay norman dress um but no it was like a pound so i don't think they knew who jay norman was obviously jay norman famous you know clothes and stuff so this would have been i don't even want to imagine how much this would have been nude by this is a size 10 as well i think this is only tiny but look how beautiful it's kind of like um a cocktail kind of dress that's what i think anyway pink and black You've got the crossed um, straps there, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I really do. I, I think it's stunning. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I will sell it uh, for a decent price. But you just never know. Like, some things I'll put on and I think, oh, that's going to go really well. Nah. You know, and other things, you know, like I didn't think were that great have sold. So, you just never know. Um, this was from Oasis, this dress, originally. I got it in the charity shop. Um, I'm not keen on it myself, but I thought it's Oasis. Uh, this is, says a size large. On eBay, I've put it as a kind of 14, 16. It is quite a stretchy. Um, it's just black and white. It's nice for summer, I suppose, but it's not my kind of print or anything. It's not really me. But, yes, it's a nice dress. That's on there. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is stunning. Wowza. This is from River Island originally. I got this for £2 in the charity shop. Uh, full, size 14. And it's just so pretty. Can you see, like, it looks like a kind of corset dress. You can't see it in this light. It's so annoying. Oh, they can a bit now. There we go. That's better. Oh. But it is stunning. And inside it's all like leopard print and that. It's well cool. It's, I don't know. I love it. I mean, it's too small for me, but it's beautiful. So... That's on. Oh, and I've got a book as well. I still look for some books, obviously. 
partly for myself because you know you can get books in charity shops like if you are a bookworm like me you can find some really good books sometimes even brand new books um including like hardbacks and stuff for like you know 20p 50p a pound bargain so um I actually paid uh, a pound for two books. The other one I'm keeping, but this one I've already got, so I'm selling this one. This is Holly Bourne, Are We All Lemons and Snowflakes? Everyone wants to feel special, crossed out, normal. Um, so yeah, I, the other one, I can't remember what it was called now, but I kept it. Oh, I don't want to like ruin the spine or anything. I think this is like brand new. Um, but anyway, so I got two for a pound, both Holly Bourne books, but the other one I've kept on my bookcase because I was like, oh, looks good. But this one I am selling. So, and it looks brand new. Even though I've just accidentally <laughs> opened the thing. But anyway, it is new, alright? Alright. Okay, now this one, ah, oh, this one has a little story about it. This is a man shirt. Um, this is a size XL, <coughs> originally from Primark. <sighs> so I bought this ages ago for Nathan, right? My fiance, for anyone that's new here. Um, and... <laughs> No, I thought, I mean, I still think it's nice, but he did not like it at all. And uh, I was like, why don't you keep it? Why don't you keep it? One day you might really like it. And he's like, I won't, I won't like it. I said, look, just keep it in the drawer. Because, you know, it's true, like, our fashion changes sometimes. You know, there's things that I didn't like then that I like wearing now. So, so. Um, <clears throat> and I just thought he'd look really nice in it. But he doesn't, he still doesn't like it. So, um, I was like, look, you're not going to wear this, are you? And he's like, no, <laughs> just get rid of it. So anyway, it's going on eBay. It's, look, it's brand new. Still got bloody tags on it and everything. Um, I think it's really nice for the summer for a man. No? Okay. So that's on. Um, I will be telling you in a second as well about Nathan's clothes. Bear with me a second. Um, right, I found some kids' fancy dress costumes as well. One of them has already sold. Uh, I had a lady write to me and said, could I buy it now? Uh, so I took off the listing and then did it as um, kind of relisted uh, buy it now and give her the link anyway. So she's bought it. I send it off tomorrow in the post. Uh, so I might as well show you. So this isn't on sale anymore, but I've got this. Uh, it's cool though. It's like a little stormtrooper outfit. So cool. You've got the mask. You've got the little outfit. Um, so yeah, this sold for like three, yeah, three pound this sold for, um, which is obviously a bargain for this, I think. Um, they're probably a lot more expensive to buy all these kind of kids outfits. So yeah, she got that. I'm going to post it for her tomorrow. Um, also picked up this one here. This I think is brand new because like, it's all like attached still. This is um, Frankenstein. There should be some trousers here to go with it. There we go. So you get the little green trout. This is on there, by the way. This has not been sold. If you are looking for any fancy dress for your children, I don't know, you might be. Um, got the green trousers <laughs> and the little top here, which I think is cool. And there's like a little hat or a mask, I don't know what that is, attached to it. This is brand new. It's from Sainsbury's, age three to four. Um, I think it's pretty cute. If I had a kid, I'd so dress them up in that, 100%. All right, also, last fancy dress here I've got for a kid is this Scooby-Doo. Scooby dooby doo, where are you? Scooby dooby doo, where are you? Anyway, Scooby doo, how cool is this? I can't remember what age this is. Um, I think it might have been like age six or something. It's on there, so have a look. Oh, hold on. I found a label. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, yes, it does. Yep. Oh, I was wrong. Three to four. So this is for a three to four year old Scooby doo, and it is official. Scooby. Scooby doo. I used to love watching Scooby-Doo. Anyway. Okay, well, I've got two more things to show you. Um, first of all, this top here, which is uh, originally from Dorothy Perkins. And this is a size 18. I think it would fit a 20 as well, if I'm honest. Size 18, 20. It's quite stretchy. And it's this lovely red and white check. It's already got um, a bit on it. And uh, it's got some watches as well. It's really pretty, isn't it? Especially with summer coming up. I like this. I did try it on. Not going to lie, um, but it just, it just didn't, well, I mean, it was a bit weird around the booby area. It's just like, mm, no, but it is really lovely. I do like it. And the last, but by no means least, I paid two pounds for these. Now, I think, well, I don't know about brand new, but they're very good condition. Look at these bling bling shoes from um, New Look. Look, they're from New Look. See that? New Look. Wow. They're just gorgeous. I wish I could walk in high heels, seriously. Um, so they're gold, they're sparkly glitter, and they're lovely. Very high heels. Wow. That is really high, isn't it? So yeah, from New Look. What a bargain, though. They literally look, as I say, look, barely 
I don't think they've, I don't know if they've been used or not, but if they have, it's only like once or twice. I mean, there's a little marking underneath there, but that could probably be wiped off if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, so they are on as well. And there we go. So that's what I have on for sale. If you want to bid on any of that, um, please do. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not joking. No, please do bid on it if you want to. Um, just go to my eBay. It's down below is the link. I'll put the link there. Just go through items that I'm selling and then you'll see all of these different items that I'm selling. There we go. Okay. Right, so I'm now going to do the little update of what's sold uh, from last week. I did do a video with this stuff, so if you watched last video, you'll know what bits were and, and if you haven't go check it out um what was i was gonna say oh yeah nathan's clothes i have got some good news because nathan is selling some of his uh, men's clothes obviously men's clothes because it's a man but you know what i mean right because um, mostly all i've been selling is uh, is is you know women's clothes but uh, we've done a big sort out of his jumpers, his jumpers, his, his t-shirts and stuff. So um, he's got quite a few he's going to sell, including some like comic themed t-shirts, comic book themed like Marvel and stuff. Um, he's got Optimus Prime. He's got loads of cool t-shirts. Some of them he just doesn't like anymore. Some of them just don't fit him. And he's just like, nah, I'm not going to wear that again. You know, so for different reasons, he just wants to get rid of them. And his is, you know, all really good condition. Um, so I'll be putting those on the end of this week. So in my next week's video, you'll see what he's got for grabs. And also, to be fair, I mean, when he was doing out his t-shirts and stuff, I've, I've borrowed, no, I've took a few from him that he didn't want. Um, because I was like, like you know just because i'm a girl i can still wear that like it's not it doesn't have to be just for men um because i think with t-shirts like anyone could wear anything do you know what i mean so i've took his ghostbusters t-shirt <laughs> and he was like oh that one will sell really well it's ghostbusters and i was like i like that one can i have that one he's like go on then uh so yeah i'm cooking his ghostbusters and another one that had like um like a kind of retro sailor girl on it i really like that top so i had that one as well <laughs> um but yeah so that'll be going on the end of this week um okay right so i told you the star wars sold that's fine right so harry potter shorts sold for 50p as i say some not so great some better than i thought right um the retro jacket which had, which had like palm trees on and stuff that went for 120 um the dress from primark was like shimmery like silvery goldy kind of color i thought that would do really well and it didn't sell the first time i had to relist in it sold for 99p which is a bit mm. but at least it's sold it look even if they only sell for a pound it all adds up do you know what i mean it all adds up um next up the men's t-shirt um it's like a camo looking one well that was you know 50p not great um another t-shirt had new york on it that was um 99p harry potter t-shirt 99p the top with the good times and the rainbow on it that went for 220 um Primark t-shirt mustard saying keep it real <laughs> keep it real. anyway at uh, £1.20 the um that done reasonably well the um shirt from Sainsbury's with all like the red lips on it like the lipstick kisses that went for four twenty five. the brown ankle boots from New Look only went for £1.04 and they were lovely I was like what there we go like, whoever's got these things cheap they got bargains do you know what I mean good luck to them like you know I want a bargain they want a bargain it's all good posted oh uh harry potter t-shirt uh that went for 104 the nice smart gold top i thought that would do better and it, that only went for a 99p but the good thing is the um black and white dress that went for 420 the h&m dress went for 850 so they were my my thing and also with this i'm going to start looking at what things sell for and, and and see what does better than others do you know what i mean dresses seem to do quite well <laughs> oh sorry the jeggings went for 110 I can't remember if I've updated you on these anyway. I'm not sure. Um, the Vox book went for 320 and a little top from Primark, 270 The Rugrat shorts went <laughs> for 99p. Bundle of three shorts. They didn't sell first time, but the second time they did, they went for a pound. Pound for three shorts. Someone got bargain. Uh, a couple of books are sold. I think I've already updated you from last week. Um, so yeah, that's I think that's pretty much done. But I mean, look, not too shabby. I, I, you look, it's not great. I'd rather things sell for like a fiver each, but it's not always going to happen. And as I say, it's also in a in a kind of weird way. Even though I want to make profit, clearly, because uh, I need the cash, 
there's a part of me is like, well, good luck to that person because they've like, for example, they've got like three pairs of shorts for a pound. So that's great. So fellow bargain hunter and all that. So there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And, um, you know, if you want me to carry on doing this eBay related videos, let me know because I think it's fun. It's something different for the channel. Um, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll put the link down below to my eBay. So just go on the items for sale, scroll through, have a look at these things. If you do want to purchase them, thank you. If you don't, no problem. Hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. It's all fine. Everyone's a winner, baby. Yeah. Okay, I want to show you very quickly. I have now official Minx merchandise available on Teespring. This is just one of them. Have I shown you this in this video? Am I going mad? I can't remember if I've shown this or not, but if I have, I'm showing it again. Look, Minx merch available now on Teespring. If I haven't shown it, then it's fine. I can't remember what I'm doing from one minute to the next at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Minx merch, if you want to look sexy, there's, there's t-shirts and vests and mugs and shopping bags and socks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, well, I'm going to shut up now because I'm rambling. All the links to my social media are down below, including uh, my Patreon. If you want to come and follow me on Patreon and, and support me and my work, that really would mean a lot to me on Patreon, MinxLaura123. Um, what else? What else? MinxLaura123 ASMR is my other YouTube channel. Go check that out. Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please click the like button on this video. Comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you very soon. I'll be back next week showing you what Nathan um, has, you know, been getting rid of and that I'm going to put on eBay, obviously. And if there's anything else that I find, if I go in a few charity shops this week, I might find a few other bits to sell. I'll show you that. And, of course, I'll update you what everything here sold for. Okay, I'm going to go now because I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Bye.